everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about beautiful book covers. It's been a little while since I filmed a book related video, I had a lot of them planned, however the whole month of August I didn't really read anything. I read one book which is pathetic, but I had a lot of stuff going on, a lot on my plate, and I just didn't get around to much reading so I didn't really have anything to talk to you about. But for my birthday I got some beautiful books from my boyfriend and um, they really opened my eyes to beautiful book collections and there are several collections that I am now wanting to get several books from and I thought I would share them with you today. First of all I have two books that will eventually be in a book haul because I've bought a lot of books lately. Um, but I just wanted to point out that you don't have to spend loads of money to find beautiful books. Um, I went into a charity shop today and I found this little hardback version of Vandrad the Viking by J. Stora Clauston. Um, and I have no idea what this book is about, is about. I'm assuming it's about a, a Viking. Um, but the reason I bought it is because it's absolutely stunning and I'm a sucker for vintage books. I love the old hardcovers and what sold me on it is the fact that it has a personal message on the inside um, and that was £2. And then for £1.50 I found again this gorgeous vintage classic. Um, it's The Secret Garden, A Little Princess and Little Lord Fauntleroy by Frances Hodgson Burnett or Burnett and this like I said was £1.50 from St Michael's Hospice. It's absolutely stunning. I love old books like this and even though I already have a copy of The Secret Garden and A Little Princess on their way to me, I just couldn't say no. So yeah, I just wanted to point out that you can find beautiful books anywhere and you don't have to spend money. Those two books cost £3.50 between them and they're absolutely gorgeous. So on to the um, collections that I want to collect basically. We have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen from the Word Cloud Classics Collection. These are beautiful books with stunning end papers. They have printed covers and they are just absolutely stunning. These are quite reasonably priced. I think they range between eight and ten pounds each depending on the book that you're after and I cannot wait to collect more of these. Now we are moving on to the Penguin editions and oh my goodness, Penguin just get it right every time. If you're looking for a publisher who releases excellent editions of classics, look no further than Penguin because there are about five or six collections that I am totally in love with right now. Um, I only have one of these books unfortunately but there are two more in the series that I want and this one I have here is Middlemarch by George Eliot and this is from the Penguin Clothbound Classics editions. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. They do come with a bookmark and obviously the clue is in the name. They are clothbound. Um, I bought this because it was reduced to £3 in TK Maxx. I absolutely love it, but I will probably read the rest of it on my Kindle because I really, really do not want to ruin this book. Other Penguin hardback classic collections that I'm interested in are the Dropped Caps or Drop Caps collection. They are a selection of rainbow coloured hardback books um, and they have been designed by a wonderful artist and they are in alphabetical order. There are a couple of those that I would like. Also, there is a deluxe um, hardback F. Scott Fitzgerald collection. I would really like The Great Gatsby and The Beautiful and Damned from that collection. So yeah, those are the other two hardback collections that I can think of. Um, but like earlier, I don't want people to think that again, you have to spend loads of money to get beautiful books because Penguin do incredible paperback editions as well. Um, a collection that is really wonderful but I don't have any here to show you um, are the Penguin English Library paperbacks. They have released pretty much every classic you can think of in um, paperback form with beautiful printed covers and they have orange stripes down the spine to show that they're by Penguin. They look stunning on people's bookshelves, honestly you should go and search them on YouTube or on Google Images or something because they are incredible and on Amazon you can get them for about four to five pounds each so they're so inexpensive and they're absolutely gorgeous. Another paperback collection from Penguin that I really like are the Penguin Essentials. If you've watched my birthday present video you will have seen this one as well. This is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. They are beautifully illustrated on the front. They have nice simple spines. This is the only one that I have from this collection but I'd like On the Road by Jack Kerouac and I would also like Lucky Jim by Kingsley Amis. Um, 
I think they're gorgeous. They are mass market paperback size, which is slightly irritating. Um, but they do look really nice piled up on top of my other books and it fits quite nicely with my copy of To Kill a Mockingbird as well. Perhaps my favourite collection of paperbacks that I have ever, ever seen are the Penguin Threads collection. Again, if you watched my birthday video, you will know that I am in love with this book. So much so that when I received it, I immediately went onto Amazon and purchased Little Women and The Wind in the Willows from the same collection, which I will soon show you in a haul when they arrive. And this morning, I may or may not have ordered Emma and the Secret Garden from this collection, because I was under the impression that there were only three of these in the collection, and there's actually six. So. When my other four arrive, the only one that I'll be missing is Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, or Sewell, Sewell, Sewell? And I'm sure I'll pick that one up eventually because Black Beauty is one of my favourite childhood stories. They have stunning deckled edges, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they're just absolutely beautiful. And these are about eight or nine pounds each, but you can get them second hand on Amazon. And I have taken a gamble with The Wind in the Willows and tried to get it second hand on Amazon. So when it arrives, I really, really hope it's the right book because I'll be gutted if it isn't. There are also several other just gorgeous editions that Penguin have released. There's the Penguin Deluxe books, which like those have deckled edges and French flaps. And I think they have Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre, um, those are the couple I know that they definitely have. They're absolutely gorgeous as well. And I have ordered um, Notes on a Scandal by Zoe Heller from the Penguin Ink collection, which is a series of books that have covers designed to look like tattoo art. Um, Notes on a Scandal is the one that I liked the most, and again, it has the French flaps and the deckled edges. Um, they also have Bridget Jones's Diary in that collection, which is the next one that I'm hoping to pick up. They are absolutely beautiful and if you are someone like me who will read a book and love it and then you really want a beautiful physical copy of it as a keepsake, go on the Penguin website and find which ones you like because they are absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I know this was a little bit of a random video, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who appreciates a beautiful book cover, and I just wanted to show that you can find them anywhere in paperback form or hardback form with, you know, a high budget or a low budget in charity shops you can find beautiful books anywhere and I make it my life's mission to find as many of them as possible so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time probably with a giant book haul <laughs> bye